Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux, which is the advanced part. So in the previous tutorial, we saw a lot of things as to how we could go ahead and actually crack into multiple things, how we could crack the hash passwords of Windows and uh, many other things. So Kali Linux has lots and lots of potentials, which we cannot even think of. So in this series on password cracking, I will go ahead and show you how we could actually go ahead and crack the hash passwords of our, let's say our own uh, Linux. Uh, but that would be, uh, and that would be the uh, final part of this tutorial. After that, I will be teaching you what are the other ways as to how we can go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and check uh, how we could go ahead and crack the hash passwords. So continuing with my tutorials on how to crack passwords, I would now like to introduce you to one of the newest and the best designed password crackers out there, that is Hashcat. The beauty of Hashcat is its, is in its design, which focuses on speed and versatility. It enables us to crack multiple types of hashes in multiple ways very fast. And just one thing guys, I'd like to tell you before I go ahead and win this tutorial, that in my previous tutorial, uh, due to some of the other reason, the Windows 7 password I was not actually able to go ahead and crack that but the reason for that because I was not able to get the system access but that's not a big deal because if you go ahead and check one of my previous tutorial you'll see that I easily cracked uh, the uh, hash password as well as I went ahead and gained the system access so the reason for that was in my previous tutorial because I had a hidden uh, antivirus installed in my system and it was not allowing it to go ahead and gain the access to the system but still I was able to go ahead and gain access to the uh, default admin part so I'll just go ahead and open it. So if uh, you're trying to hack into someone else's PC and you're unable to gain access to them, uh, don't get frustrated or don't get mad that uh, you tried but it, it's not happening. There can be several reasons why you're not able to crack someone's password. Maybe the password is strong but it's never too strong that you will not be able to crack that. So hacking is something that you need to keep on trying until unless you actually go ahead and get that password because there's always hard work that you need to do be behind uh, before you go ahead and get the successful fruits to your result. So as I mentioned in the previous parts of this tutorial, passwords are stored in a one-way encryption called as hashes. And these are the multiple, there are multiple ways of obtaining these hashes such as uh, DLL injection in Windows system or capturing the hash in transit such as WPA wireless cracking that is for our wireless LAN that's Wi-Fi. So once we grab the hash, in wind for Windows it will easily go ahead and crack that, that is John the Ripper can easily crack that. But the next step becomes one of the finding of an effective and efficient way of cracking it. Uh, there are numerous tools, some of which I have highlighted in other articles here. But Hashcat is unique in its design and versatility. So let's take a look at how it works. So straight away go ahead, up here, go ahead and open up your, fire up your Cal Linux and over here uh, before I go ahead and start it through uh, my terminal, I'll go ahead and show you how we can open it through uh, the graphical user interface. So just go ahead in the Kali Linux, over here go to applications, Kali Linux and over here you can see the password attacks. Inside that you will see these offline attacks and over here you can go ahead and see this hashcat. So as you can see, this uh, hashcat can go ahead and crack these different types of hashes which is quite more than sufficient for us and it's an awesome tool just to be clear so when we click on the hashcat menu item it opens the help screen and at the top of the screen you can see the basic hashcat syntax hashcat options hash file and mask word files and directories so we can see some of the options for hashcat displayed before the basic syntax some of the most important of all are the hash type that is uh, this one, uh, that's the type M, A, V or whichever it is and the attack method, that's hyphen A. So in general, we will need to use both of these options in most password cracking attempts with Hashcat. But there are more extensive, extensive options as well. If we scan a bit further uh, down this Hashcat help screen, we can see there are more options. The first two uh, below are some of the key options that Hashcat enables. First, ha Hashcat enables uh, rules that allow us to apply uh, specifically designed rules to use on our word list file. Uh, these rules can take our uh, word list file and apply capitalization rules, special characters, word combinations, appended and prepended numbers and so on. Each of these will help us to break the uh, passwords that have been made more complex to avoid dictionary attacks. The next stanza 
shows us custom character sets. This enables us to set the character set that we want to use the crack the passwords. If you know the company or the institution's password policy, we can choose a subset of characters to meet their policy and speed up our cracking. For instance, if a company allows an all numeric character to uh, set, uh, let's say, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or any random stuff like that, we can choose to crack the hashes with just numbers. These types of passwords are very easy to crack. The next screen includes uh, some of the most obscure attacks of all times including the output file, the debug mode and the built-in character set. Finally, we have to choose the type of hash that we are trying to crack. Hashcat uses numerous options and when I get ready to crack the hash, I would need to designate in our command what type of hash we are working by with by giving hashcat the number associated with the hash type. Here I can see a list of some of the hash types hash can work with. So let me just go through that. So as you can see we have these different hashes. I can use the built-in car sets that can go and select from these specific things or the capital or only these or I can go and even use all of them which will actually take lots of time. And these are the hash types ND5, MD5 that's pass salt, MD5 that's salt pass, then Unicode, HMAC, MD5. So these are, uh, if I, if to be more specific, this includes each and everything. So the next thing that we would have to do is to choose, choose your word list. In this tutorial, I will be using a simple dictionary attack on some Linux hashes. To do so, I need a word list to work from. There are literally thousands of word lists available on the web, but Kali has numerous word lists built right in. So let's try using one of those. To find the built-in uh, word list in Kali, we can type just, uh, I'll just show you. Just type locate word list. Okay, so these are the different word lists that are available that we can go ahead and use to crack our passwords. So when we do, we can see that there are dozens of word lists available. And I'll be using this word list built in for SQL map, which has over 1 million words and hybrid words as well. So we would be using that one through SQL map. And the next thing we would uh, be doing is we would be uh, grabbing the hashes. So in the next step, I need to grab uh, the uh, hashes on our Kali system. If we are logged in as root, we can see and grab the hashes as well. So in Linux, the hashes are stored in the etc shadow file. So it would be over here and if you go and go just to go ahead and type shadow you can see this shadow file over here and this is the full hash but we would only be needing this particular file so I'll just go down and do the word wrap okay it's already done I believe so this is would be the hash file that we are trying to crack so uh, now we can see the shadow file with the hashes as above so this is the hashtag that we, I would be going ahead and actually cracking this but that would be in the next part of this tutorial. So if you have the basics what I have been teaching you till now as to how you can go and do that it will be very easy for you to crack but if not then uh, you need to go to, through this tutorial again or you can go ahead and uh, just we would be using this uh, specific word list to go ahead and crack our uh, database and uh, if you are using something else these are different ones that you can go ahead and use if you don't want these you can go ahead and create your own and then go ahead and transfer that over here or you can you go ahead and download something from the web but uh, it would already have been included already in Kali because uh, Kali is already famous for multiple word list so that is it for this tutorial in the next tutorial I'll be teaching you how we could actually go ahead and crack some passwords of our own Kali Linux